Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies, and today we're going to look at this old Darton bow. So Darton Archery has been around for a number of years, and it's one of the original bow manufacturers. So it was owned by Rex Darrington, um, who's recently sold it off to the owner of Black Eagle Arrows. So this is one of his first bows. This was a hybrid cam, so you yoke at the top and a different cam at the bottom. Now, rotating module, um, what year is this bow? This year is probably, um, I was probably 23 when I was importing these. So at the time I was the exclusive uh, dealer in Australia for Darton. Um, this has got the original strings on it. Um, now, the yoke, sorry, the draw stop, the module down the bottom here, you can see it's got a edge either side. Now, the reason they do the edge either side is to stop the strings sliding off one end or the other. Some bows today don't even have this little groove in it. And it's almost stupidity because this existed like almost 30 years ago now. The module's adjusted quite easily with two screws there and there. Um, this person set it up to shoot with a metal D-loop. So you need a special release aid, which I didn't have, but we're gonna shoot it with fingers. These arrows, um, these were terminators. Now my dad used to be the gold tip distributor in Australia. So I had a shop and my dad had a shop. Um, my shop was in Canberra and my dad's shop was in Adelaide. He was the gold tip distributor for Australia and gold tip would sell him second, seconds arrows, which he, he would then little, put these little labels on and he would call them terminators. Um, and that's them there. Um, <clears throat> so the quiver, this was a dart and quiver from memory and it's, it's not a bad quiver. Um, little drop away rest, little basic rest. The sight is a Toxonic sight. Toxonic used to be the biggest sight manufacturer and then they're gone. I think they're gone. Uh, they used to do target sights, hunting sights and I Toxonic would probably make up 70% of my site, site sales at one point in time. Um, cable, cable guard to keep the cables away. The strings look in pretty good condition. This was a, like for a kisser button. Um, so I thought, well, we'll have a shot and see what a, what a 30 year old compound's like. Now the person who sold it to us goes, look, it's in really good condition. It's 30 years old. No one's going to want this as a collector's item. Now the limbs, these bows that tend to last forever because the limbs aren't under lots of tension. So you can see the limbs, big long limbs under not much tension. So these limbs are going to last forever. This bow's going to last forever. Cast riser, um, big cutaway here. Now the era of this bow, dart and archery and proline archery merged together. Dart and purchase proline, they were about the same market share at the time. They're both 10% of the market at that time. When Rex purchased Proline, this being a Proline riser, um, he thought he would get 20% market share. He didn't, he then dropped to under 10% because he got rid of all the Proline designs and made a Darton and kind of, yeah, it's just, it's just um, unfortunate for him because he just spent a lot of money buying a new boat company and didn't really work out because he didn't like the way the the way they made bows. Um, right, so 30 years old. Let's see if this bow blows up. It always amazes me when I see these really old bows come in um, because it shows me how solid these bows are. Like they're just bows are just rock solid. Um, actually, we'll go behind so you can sort of see. Look, I'm not even going to try and hit a target. Um, but we'll see if it, see how it goes. Look, the, um, Lucky it's got an edge on it here because otherwise it could have tracked off. Look, it's a... Look, at the time this was a budget bow, they used to sell for about $400. Bow 
budget bows today, probably a little bit more than that. But a $400 Chinese bow is far better than this. So, look, that was solid, dependable, adjustable. Look, what else could you want for $400? Came with a, well, came with, they would have purchased the quiver for about $100 and then fitted the other stuff to it so he probably would have spent about six hundred dollars um 30 years ago on this um on this boat and you can see it's in really good condition this was a film dip which is pretty much what they use today um been a nice solid round cam up the top here um nice solid bow a little bit of shock when you shoot the bow, not as fast as the modern bows, not as nice to draw. thing with this bow, because it's so long axle axle, you could shoot it with fingers if you want to shoot compound bows with fingers. And it doesn't have the high let off that the modern bows have today. Most of the modern compound bows today are 90% let off, which is not suitable for finger shooting. This, this would be perfectly fine for finger shooting and you're going to pick the bow up really cheap for about 100 bucks. So anyway, that's the... Darton, and I think it's a, I can't remember the name of it. Um, there wasn't that many of them produced. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.